Hi, kindergartners. Welcome, or if this is your first time, welcome to our lesson. We're so excited you're here. Hi, kindergartners. Welcome back to Making Meaning Lesson. My name is Mrs. Wheeler, and I teach kindergarten at Hazel Wolf K-8. Hi, my name is Miss Choi, and I also teach kindergartners at Hazel Wolf K-8. I'm so excited to see you today in this video. Yeah, guess what? In the videos this week, you get two teachers, Ms. Wheeler and Ms. Choi. So exciting. So you're going to see both of us doing different parts throughout the lesson. We want to tell you some of the things you're going to need, or maybe you're going to see. You're going to need your brain, so get your brain ready to do your best thinking. We might stop and ask you to do some thinking during our lesson. We might hold up a sign like this that says, think time. Now, Ms. Choi, what are they going to do when they see this think time sign? What are kindergartners supposed to do? So you're going to stop and you're going to think. You're going to spend the time to think about your ideas and thoughts to share with your partners. We also may ask you to turn and talk to your partner just like we do in the classroom. And you might see a sign like this. But wait a minute, we're not in the classroom and I don't have a partner. Ms. Choi, what can they do? Mrs. Willer, you can bring your stuffies and then you can share with your stuffies. Or you can talk stuffy, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then you can talk to your family member or siblings or you can talk to your pet, or even you can talk to yourself, or the last thing you can talk, you can pretend calling to Mrs. Wheeler and Miss Choi. But it's most important, students, that you are comfortable talking in whatever language you feel your best that you can do your talking in. So you might talk in English, like I'm comfortable talking in English with my family at home. Miss Choi, what about you? What language are you most comfortable talking in? I use Korean in my home, and I talk to my family member in Korean. So I'll speak and share my ideas in Korean while I do the turn and talk in this lesson. Yep, it's super important that you're talking about what you're learning and what you're reading. So make sure you're talking with your family members. All right, are you guys ready? You ready? Okay. And to get started, we're gonna jump right into our lesson and you're gonna see both of us. Okay, here we go, kindergartners. Okay, I'll see you in the next slide. All right, readers, are you ready? We're going to do Making Meaning Lesson together with Miss Choi, with me first, and then you're going to see Mrs. Filler later in the vocabulary lesson. So readers, are you ready? If you're ready, show me a quite thumb up. Great, let's get started. Okay, readers, in the last video, or last week, we read a book about the sun. Yes, or if it is your first time watching it, here's the one, Here's the book that we read in the last video, The Sun. Yes, readers, remember, we heard this nonfiction book and talked about what we learned and wondered about the sun, remember? Yes, and we also looked at the parts of the book that give readers extra information about the sun. Here's the one we looked at, looked at it together. Here's the diagram of the sun and solar system. And the diagram that tells us the sun gives planets heat and light. And here's another one that shows us or helps us to understand that Earth orbits the sun or move around the sun. And here's another one, picture glossary. Do you remember this? Yes. This picture glossary helps us to see the picture and the words and the meaning of the word or definition of the word all together. So these things or text features give readers extra information about the sun. All right, readers, guess what we are going to read today? Yes, today we're going to hear another nonfiction book that tells us about dolphins. Here's the cover page of our book. The title of the book is called Dolphins, and it is written by Kate Riggs. Do you see the author's name on the side? Yes. Readers, today we're going to read this book, and this book tells readers interesting facts about dolphins. So, readers, today we're going to learn more about dolphins today. Are you excited? Yes. And here's the title page of our book. So, readers, what information is included on the title page? Think. Yes, readers, I hear you saying, Mr. We can find out the title of the book. 
and the name of author, the name of the person who wrote the book. Great. So readers, have you or has someone you know been a dolphin? Let's think. Ooh, I hear readers sharing that they've seen dolphins before, and I also hear that they've never seen the dolphins before. I've never seen the dolphins before. I mean, I've seen dolphins from the picture and the, in the video, but I I don't think I've seen the video. I mean, dolphins in person. And here, readers. So, what is something you're wondering about dolphins? I want you to turn and talk to your partner. Turn and talk. Awesome readers. I hear so many great wonderings about dolphins. So I made a chart that is called Things We Wonder About Dolphins. So I wrote down what I heard from our readers. Here's the first one. What do they eat? So what do they eat? What do dolphins eat? Oh, and I also heard that some readers saying, what do they look like? So how do they look like? How do dolphins, what do they look like? And I also hear readers saying, where do they leave? Where do dolphins leave? So today, readers, I'm going to put this over here. And today, readers, while we read this book, we're going to find out this wonderings by reading this book, Dolphins. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Hello, Dolphins. Dolphins are ocean animals. Ocean animals mean animals that live in salty water. Dolphins are ocean animals. They live all around the world. Dolphin skin is smooth and gray. Dolphin teeth are small and pointy. Pointy means having a sharp tip or end. Do you see the pointy teeth? Dolphin teeth are small and pointy. Dolphins have flippers. Flippers mean limb-like arms that help dolphins swim. Do you see flippers? The dolphin have flippers. They breathe air through a hole on the top of their head. So readers, let's stop here. What have you learned about dolphins so far? Let's turn and talk. Let's keep reading. Dolphins eat small fish. They eat other little ocean animals too. A baby dolphin is called a calf. A calf lives with other dolphins in a pod. Pod means group. So a calf lives with other dolphins in a pod. Dolphins like to swim in the ocean. They play and eat all day. Goodbye, dolphins. Okay, readers, let's stop here. We just finished our book. So what did you learn about dolphins in the part you just heard? Turn and talk. Great, let's come back. I hear readers saying different things that they learned. All right, readers, we finished our book about dolphins. Now let's discuss about the book. So what did you learn about dolphins that surprised you? Think. Ooh, 
I hear readers saying that dolphins can breathe through the hole, which was surprising. Mm -hmm. And I also hear readers saying that the baby dolphin is called Kef, which was surprising. And I also hear readers were surprised at that dolphins have flipper and they also eat small little ocean animals. Great. So readers, were any of things you wondered about dolphins discussed in the book? I think Let's come back. Yes, remember readers, we made a chart in the beginning of the video. Things we wonder about dolphins. Let's see if we get answers from the book. Things we wonder about dolphins. First one we talked about was, what do they eat? Oh, and we learned that dolphins eat small or little ocean animals. And what do they look like? Oh, we learned, we learned about it too, right? They have pointy little teeth, small teeth, and the color of their skin is gray and their um, skin is smooth. And the last one, where do they live? And they live in the ocean. So readers, but what are you still wondering about dolphins? What are you still wondering about dolphins? Turn and talk. Okay, let's come back. Oh, I hear different ideas. And I am still wondering the size of the dolphin. So I will add another one. How big is it so here i add one more how big is it great all right readers here's the word uh, here's the one more wonder we added in our list i will save it and put it on the board to see if we can find the answer for our wanderings in the next video okay here now let's look at some words in the book here's the first one that i want to look at it together let's look at this page together here do you see the word ocean is a different color than the other words on the page yes do you see the word ocean over here this word is in different color than the other words on this page because this word is defined in the glossary. And readers, do you remember? Many nonfiction books have glossaries that give the meanings of the word in the books, right? So let me show you the glossary page and let's see if we can find the definition or meaning of the word ocean. Here's the glossary page. Words to know. And here's the word ocean and meaning of the word ocean. Let's read it together. Ocean, a big area of deep, salty water. So now we know ocean means a big area of deep, salty water because we have glossary page. And readers, there are more words that are in different color and that are defined in the glossary page. Let's see if we can find other words in different color. Here we go. Do you see the word in different color? Yes, here are flippers. And another one. Oh, do you see another one? Yes, pod. And let's see if we can find definition or meaning of the words in the glossary page. Here's the glossary page. Yes, I see flippers. Flippers over here. The first flat limbs like arms that help dolphins swim. And another one we looked at it was pod, a group of dolphins that live together. So, readers, we learned definition or meanings of the words in the book from the glossary page. 
And when we don't know the meaning of the words, we can come back to closer and see if we can find the definition of the word, right? Great. All right, readers, you did a great job doing whole body listening for making meaning lesson. We learned and wonder about dolphins today. And we also looked at the glossary that helps us to understand the words, right? So readers, now it's time to do vocabulary lesson with Mrs. Filler. Hi, kindergartners. It's Mrs. Wheeler. This is my part of the lesson with you today. It's our vocabulary lesson, and I'm going to teach you two new words. You've just been reading this book all about dolphins with Miss Choi, and I learned so many interesting facts about dolphins in this nonfiction books. So let's get ready to learn two new words, okay? Are you ready? Yeah, I see some thumbs up. All right, the first word I want to teach you is about on this page here. And on this page, the author describes the dolphin's skin and teeth. The word we're gonna learn today is describe. Say it with me, describe. When you describe something, you tell someone about it. Like you might tell how it looks, tastes, smells, or acts. So I'm going to reread these pages to you. And when I do that, I want you to be very careful listeners. And I want you to listen for the words that the author uses to describe or tell us what dolphin's skin and teeth looks and feels like, okay? So get ready to listen for those words. I'm gonna reread the page to you. Dolphin skin is smooth and gray. Dolphin teeth are small and pointy. What words did the author use to describe a dolphin's skin and teeth? Get ready. I'm gonna ask you to turn and talk with your partner. And I'm gonna show you a prompt or words you might use when you're doing your talking, okay? So what words did the author use to describe the dolphin's skin and teeth? And you might use this to help you. The words the author uses to describe a dolphin's skin and teeth are, okay, go ahead, turn and talk. Kindergartners, I heard so many of you sharing. I heard you share that the words the author uses to describe the dolphin's skin are smooth. I heard gray. I also heard pointy and small. Wow, I could tell you were really listening to the author describing dolphins. Let's see our vocab word and picture. Ready? Okay, here's our picture here. It is showing a little boy with his family member and the mom is describing the flower. She says, this flower is yellow. It has petals and a stem. Here's our word, say it with me. Describe, one more time, describe. When you describe something, you tell someone about it. She's telling him about the flowers, what they look like, what parts they have when you describe something. All right, guess what we get to do? We're going to describe ourselves. I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna describe Mrs. Wheeler first, and I'm gonna talk about maybe what I look like and describe a little bit about me, and then it's gonna be your turn, okay? All right, so be listening and thinking. If I were to describe Mrs. Wheeler, I would say I have long hair, I have brown eyes, I also am wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt. Can you see that? That's how I could describe myself, what I look like, what I'm wearing. That describes to you a little bit about me. Okay, it's your turn, kindergartners. Are you ready? I want you to describe yourself. You're gonna turn and talk to your partner. And I want you to answer these questions. How would you describe yourself? What do you look like? Okay, get ready. Turn and talk and use this to help you. I would describe myself by saying, Go ahead, turn and talk. Kindergartners, I heard you describing yourself. I heard you sharing and saying, I would describe myself by saying I have short hair, or I would describe myself by saying I wear glasses. It's so fun to describe ourselves. Here's our last word. 
Our word we just learned was describe. Okay, are you ready? I have another word to teach you. And it's from the same book, of course. And guess what? It's even from the same page as we were just looking at. All right, are you ready? On this page, I'm going to reread a part of it. I want you to listen to hear what my word might be, okay? Are you ready? Dolphin teeth are small and pointy. Yeah, our word is pointy. Dolphin teeth are small and pointy. Something that's pointy has a sharp tip. If something is pointy, it might hurt you. So dolphin teeth are sharp and pointy. They have a sharp tip. They might hurt you. All right, are you ready? I have two pencils here for you. Now in my home, I didn't have any colored pencils. So I just colored some regular pencils for you. But I'm gonna show you two pencils and I want you to tell me which pencil is pointy. Can you see those pencils? All right, there we go. I have a red pencil and I have a blue pencil. And I want you to tell me which color pencil is pointy, blue or red? And why do you say it is pointy? Take some think time and then turn and talk. Which color pencil is pointy and why? I hear you sharing that the blue pencil is pointy because it has a sharp tip. And I heard you sharing that the red color pencil is not pointy because it doesn't have a sharp tip. It doesn't even have any tip at the end of it. Wow, that's how you can tell if those are pointy or not. Okay, now I have something kind of fun to do. I have a plant here and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna act out touching some of the pointy parts of my plant. And I want you to watch what I'm doing. Okay, are you ready? Let me get my plant here. we go. All right. This is a little plant that I have and I'm going to act out touching part of the thorny parts of the plant and I want you to watch what I'm doing. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh. Kindergartners, what did I do? What did you see me do when I was touching? the pointy parts of this plant. What did I do? Are you ready? I want you to use this in answering your question. When you, when I acted out touching a pointy thorn or the pointy part, you what? Go turn and talk. What did I do? I see that some of you are sharing that you saw when I was touching this. I kind of went, ow. Oh, and I kind of like moved back a little and my finger, oh, I pulled my finger away. When you touch something that is pointy or sharp, it might hurt you. Oh my gosh. Let's look at our vocabulary word and card. Ready? Here's the word pointy. Say it with me. Pointy. One more time. Pointy. Look at in the picture. You have a picture of a needle. These are all things that are pointy. A needle. Ooh, the claws on an animal. Oh, and there's our pencil. These are all pointy things that might be kind of sharp or have a tip. I want you to think, what are some other things that are pointy? Maybe close your mind, close your eyes, make a picture in your mind. What are some things that have sharp tips that are pointy? You might look around in your room where you are. You might think about your classroom. What are some things that are pointy? and turn and talk and use this to help you when you're talking. A blank might be pointy. Go ahead, turn and talk. I heard so many of you sharing things that might be pointy. I heard someone say part of like a rose, the thorn might be pointy. I also heard someone share that a pen might be pointy or a safety pin, like if you're fixing your clothes. Wow, there are so many things that are pointy. We have to make sure we're careful around things that are pointy so we don't hurt ourselves, okay? All right, 
kindergartners, we learned in our book, Dolphins, we learned two new words today. Let's do a really quick review of them. Okay, are you ready? I've got my pointer. I'm going to point to the word. I want you to say the word and then we'll remind ourselves what it means. Okay, ready? Yeah, pointy. When something is pointy, it has a sharp tip. Describe. When you describe something, you tell someone about it. Talk about what it looks like or smells or tastes. Wow, we learned describe and pointy. Two new words. All right, I'll be back in another lesson with two more vocabulary words, but get ready for IDR. Miss Joy's back. Here she is. All right, bye. See you later. All right, readers, it's time for independent reading. Today, you're going to choose and read another nonfiction book to learn new fun facts or information about things. And then I want to show you how you can get more nonfiction books. So readers, today while you read independently, I want you to think about things that makes you surprised or that surprised you. So while you read independently, I want you to think about the parts or about the things that surprised you. And then I want you to share those new fun facts or surprising things to your family members or your friends or stuffies. Because talking about what you are reading is important and it will help you to understand the book better, right? So make sure to share what you learn and what you read in the book with someone, okay? So you have three jobs today. First, read. And then second, share. And then we're going to write about the book that you read. So let me show you how I read nonfiction books during independent reading time. Here, here's the book, Elephant. I'm reading. And then while I read, oh, I found the part that surprised me. Elephants are plant eaters. They use their trunks to grab leaves off trees. Oh, I found this page surprised me. So, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure to share this one with someone and I'm going to write about it on the paper. So you can use this paper from in the learning packets or you can get it from the lunch site or you can print it out or you can just use a blank white paper. But in the paper today, I want you to make sure to write, I think something is surprising because blank. So I wrote this. I think elephants are surprising because they can use trunks to grab leaves off the tree. And then I drew the picture of what I wrote in the bottom. So today, while you read, I want you to think about the things that makes that surprise you and then share about it with someone and then write it on the paper and then draw it. All right, readers, are you ready? Now it's your turn to do it. And I'm gonna show you how you can get more nonfiction books. So here are some more resources where you can find nonfiction books to read or other books to read at home. So you can go to visit Seattle Public School website and then select student family portal. And then you can click on the academic tools to get more books to read. So first you can go to Seattle Public Schools website or you can go to Seattle Public Library or they, there is Pebble Go or you can go to Tumble Books to get more books. And there is another online reading website. You can go to Scholastic Learn at Home or Storyline Online. All right, kindergartners, thanks so much for spending the day with us learning and thinking about books and using text features and learning what was surprising and wondering, wow, you did so much work today. Yeah, nice job, kindergartners. I'm so proud of you. You did a great whole body listening and part of the video, and I'm so excited ready to see you in the next video. Yep. All right. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.